Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of my Beardlib Editor tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be teaching you how an element can interact with a unit. Alright, so we went over this in part 1, but some elements, or some units, sorry, have these things called unit sequences, which have these mesh variations so you can change stuff, so you can do stuff like this and have it drive away using an animation that set it within its unit file. It's pretty cool watching it drive away. So that's pretty cool. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to spawn a door interactable door keycard. Yeah. All right, so it's pretty much the standard Payday 2 door right here. Remember I taught this in episode one, where sometimes when you load in a unit, the mesh variation sequence manager does not load. So I'm just gonna hit save, restart. Using the editor, you'll quickly learn that frequent restarts are good because it helps just reload everything and fixes a lot of the issues you might be experiencing. There's this unit, or element I should say, called a unit sequence. So what this does, we'll place it down. I'm gonna call it US, short for unit sequence, open door. So when this is executed, what I want it to do is to open this door. Ignoring all of this stuff, if we go down to here, only for local player, I pretty much never use this. What, what is really important though is this manage trigger list. So we open up this, this will show all of the different elements that are in the map. What I want to focus on is this door here. All right. So we can go and look up the door. If you ever forget what a unit is called, you can just go click on it, see its name. Units can also have names, so I'm going to call this Tutorial Open Door. Now that I'm in here, I can go look up tutorial, and it's right there, tutorial open door. So I'm gonna click it. So, there's the timed trigger, which tells you, just like we did with the elements, how that bolt of electricity goes across, it takes two seconds, or zero seconds for this one. Same thing for that. So, this will take two seconds from when this is executed to when this door opens but we have this sequence to trigger. So this says, what sequence should this element trigger on this door? I want it to anim open door. But wait, anim, anim open door isn't there. But there's a door open. Yeah, state door open. The difference between an anim, which is an animation, and a state if I do a state door open, if I do state door open, let's try that one more time, it'll just open. There's no animation. That looks kind of jarring and not really like it does in the game. So if I state door close to reset it, and I look up anim, see it's not there. Why is there no anim door open or open door? Well, sometimes, the sequences that the unit has don't show up on the list. I know it's extremely confusing. If you know, if you see an anim closed door, most likely there's going to be an open door. So, because it's not on the list, we can always just delete the letters and type anim open door. The thing with that though is if you type it in and you type it in correctly and it doesn't match what is on the sequence manager, this will not work. So, we've got the US open door, execute, it opens the door. See, just like that. Even though the anim open door does not appear on this list, we can assume that because there's a closed door, that there's an open. Some of the units have that issue. Don't tell me why, or don't ask me why, because I, I don't know. I don't really know. I'll be teaching later, in a later episode, on how to find out what the unit sequences are and how to find them. 
that's a little bit more advanced than what we're doing right now though. For now, I want to make it so instead of going into the editor and pressing the execute, I want to make this execute by itself and open the door. Like we learned earlier though, we go to area trigger, we can do this, have it execute the open door. So I walk into the area and the door opens. Wow. But hold up. We could pick the door. That's not supposed to happen. So if you go and pick it, as you can see, it opens up the door again. Now we can't interact with it again, but that's not really nice. You don't want to have that interaction there. So how we fix that is we can do it two ways that we can fix that. We can fix that either with the unit itself or with the unit sequence. I'm going to teach you both. So if you want a door to be only open via unit sequence, what they do to have is a mesh variation usually called deactivate door. If we turn on activate door, we'll see it has these little interaction points that we normally see when it has that interaction. Now, by default, those interactions are there, but the little pop-ups are not. So if we wanna just hide the pop-ups, we can always just do deactivate door. So now we trigger it to open the door. We see there's no interaction to open the door anymore. So you can either do that with the mesh variation or you can do it in here. So you can have one unit sequence trigger multiple things. And you can even have it trigger multiple things multiple times. So with this, I'm gonna have it trigger deactivate door. And we'll go walk into the area trigger. It opens up the door. But wait, it says to pick the lock. And if we go in here, it says deactivate door. That should be removing the interaction. Whoops. So why isn't that working? Well, there was one mistake that I made. And if you can point it out, then good job. That one mistake was I saved, but I didn't restart. So a common issue that will have with happen with units and elements and everything was you'll put something in, you'll save it, but when you go to load into the heist in this mode, they don't physically save. So if we just hit restart. So we'll go into it this time. And I want to clarify, I did not touch anything. All I did was restart and we'll walk into the area. It'll open the door and the interaction is no longer there. So that's why it's important. Anytime you want to go into the game and test it, you want to save and you want to restart. That will clear any issues that you could have possibly had. All right. So that's how unit sequences work. If we type in unit. Yeah, okay, so there's a bunch of other ones. <laughs> so there is disable and there is enable. Both of these can be explained just like you would with this trigger right here. Disable, enable. But all this does is disables and enables. So all it does is hide it pretty much. Disables, enables. That's handled with these. So if you want to just have this wall right here be disabled when I walk into it, but then a second after it'll, whoops, a second after it'll enable. That's how you do that. What if we didn't want the player to walk into the door? but we wanted the player to interact with the door and open it. What I'm gonna to start to do, what I'm gonna do first of all is activate, I'm missing it, I'm missing it. Can't find it. So I'm gonna type in activate door. There it is. I'm just gonna disable this to make sure that when I walk into this, it doesn't open it. So I'm gonna activate this door. 
Now that it's activated, I want something to happen like I want an explosion to go off right behind the door. So, explosion element. I'll quickly go over this. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's damage to everything. There's damage to players specifically. And there is a range. So if I set that to 200, you'll see that. The uh, white circle is the fall off range. The green circle is max range. So if you're in the green circle, you'll take 10 damage. In the white circle, you'll take less. So I want this door, when I open it, to explode this. So how I do that is we use this unit sequence trigger. Now, um, there is some confusions within unit sequence and unit sequence trigger. So unit sequence makes the, the unit do something and unit sequence trigger means this is triggered when a unit does something. So if I set this and I go to the door and see it has the same list as the unit sequence and the unit. If I wanted to have it explode when the door opens. So there's two ways to do that. We can only do it with when the door opens or this is a very general, if you can interact with an object, most of the time it has this unit or it has this sequence, something called interact. So as you can see, there's a line, green line connected to this unit. So when this unit sequence trigger, which I like to normally put it down to UST, when this uh, door opened, so when it's opened, I want it to trigger the explosion. All right, so save, restart. Again, if I walk into this door, I'm gonna demonstrate how the enable and disable work. And because I disabled this, which you can see right here, it's not enabled, that won't happen. So walk into that, it disables, enables, but the door doesn't open. If I go up to the door, I interact with it. So I interact and it explodes. So like we were saying, this unit sequence trigger, which detects when I interact with it, will trigger this explosion. All right. Again, you don't need to use just to interact, it can also happen when any of these happen. So if a SWAT were to breach into it, you can have that trigger something, for example. So that is just a general overview on how elements can trigger units and units can trigger elements.